hey, you enter a restricted channel. You're not authorized to view this channel. If you are not a subscriber, you need to click on a different thumbnail and leave this site immediately. Only subscribers are allowed to view this content. You must subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment. I don't care what you say in the comments, but you must leave a comment and do two things. Either hit that like button, thumbs up, liking the video, or hit the thumb down button, disliking this video. I don't care which one of the two you do, but you must do one or the, or the other. Only authorized personnel are allowed to view this channel. No more freeloaders will be allowed. Because you know what you are. I say again, do you know what you are? You know what you are! Just a day, son of a bitch! I hear the report that growing wheatgrass on the CIA is unauthorized illegal use of taxpayer funding. The congressional hearing must be taking place. So I need your help to find the bottom of this. We're growing wheatgrass on the CIA. This is unacceptable. Learn how and more details to follow. Hey, welcome to the CIA. Hey, wait, this is Jay from the Blue Garden. Okay, so we got a treat for you. How to do wheatgrass. All right, so got a volunteer here. Let's see. Now, this is called Handy Pandry Seeds and Green. This is the red spring um spring uh red wheatgrass this is really good stuff and like in the blue garden we only buy the best this is uh really the high end of your wheatgrass so my worms are gonna be loving this stuff all right so first thing we gotta do is crack it open so it can't seal and we have to use a can opener So here we go. So it's best we keep it on the hot plate. The CIA is going to take the load. Okay, so. Cutting the can is not that hard. So don't be scared of it. If you have an electric can opener, you're too fancy. All right, so like I said, this is uh, the wheatgrass. It's called Red Spring. They have winter version. So it's up to you to choose which kind of wheatgrass you like to use. And now we need to pop the tin out. Now here you gotta be careful not to cut yourself with the tin. And you do have to make sure you do cut all the way through. I'm trying to keep this video short, but that's not possible. Hard to get good help. <sighs> okay. 
Maybe you should get an electric can opener. There we go. Now we got the C's. With some metal charts in there. All right, let's take a look at the C's. Look at those. All right, so now, because this is the very first time, we have to remove a hot plate and set up our tray. Now, here you see here's our tray. Now, because this is the first time, we don't know how much to put in there, so we're going to start out with one and a half cups. We need to uh, cover our tray there. Once we know how much these is required to cover this tape, we write that number down and we will know for the next time. So what do we have there? We got about 16 ounce, two cups it looks like. All right, so we're gonna start out with two cups. And we spread it on here, and we do need to cover the whole surface. It kind of looks like maybe two cups can do it. We tried to shoot for one and a half, but we overshot it. I think two cups is good. Huh? So, it looks good. Alright, so it's two and a half cups. Alright, so now just two cups so now we need to first cover our supplies so we don't contaminate or lose it second we need to put all these seeds back in either the measuring cup without spilling it There we go. We should just tilt it higher and let it fall in there. There you go. You don't want to spill it because these are very expensive seeds. Be very careful. There we go. Now, the next step is to soak it in water. So we're going to pour this into our mason jar and we're going to fill it up with water. So now it doesn't matter if you use filter water or city chlorine water but since we got filter water there won't be any harm in that. So. Let's see, we can get all the seeds that fell down. And then we're going to take this to the sink and get some filtered water. So, there we go. Now we're just going to fill it up to the very top. And then we're going to stop the water. Stop, stop. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Now, Oh, we started early, so I need to watch the time. Okay, we're close to nine o'clock. Now, for um, the water, we need to leave the cap open so it can breathe. And we leave it here for um, six to eight hours, but I wake up at 5 a.m., so it'll be nine hours. And that's it. In the morning, I don't know if I have time to film it and do it, but we're going to dump the water and then we are going to uh, leave it with no water and put the cap back on for 24 hours. And then the next day, we plant it on the tray. All right, stay tuned for the continuation of how to set up your wheatgrass.